white castles. I'll open it and burn it up. Hmm. Okay, then you there. Tell me to download them. She told me to download all his bang guys there and I think it's for my full bang. Tell me to download the app. But unfortunately I can't because I gotta pay my my bill. But I'm finna tell you. So she sent me the this this paper. Um, not a face, but I was like, she's a broker. See, I'm very trustworthy. I I'm, I trust people. Right from the very beginning. Uh, we got a whole lot of mm. starts January. Oh, this one starts twelve thirty one. Oh, that one expired already. I won't get one free. Mm. Oh, twelve thirty one. Forgot this is December. So So I'm getting all my stuff together. And just like I said, I took the picture, send it to her. And she called me up. And she was complaining about how the pictures was. Like, I couldn't understand why she was going in like that far. I never had Nobody to tell me. I mean, I guess that's why I accepted it because nobody really told me that I was supposed to send document professionally to her. I'm, I'm sending it to her and she do the work. You know what I'm saying? But I learned something. You actually do. When you send in document. Try your best to send them as professionally as you can. No picture, no no back, background information. They don't need to know what's in your house or see what's in your house. Okay, so with that being said, she's complaining. So and I was, and so I told her, I said, listen, I said I want this apartment. Whatever I got to do, I'm gonna do. Cause she was like, well, I don't know. I was out there in Brooklyn. I mean, in the Bronx. And I couldn't, I didn't get in contact with you. This is her talking to me. I didn't get in contact with you. So I couldn't come. I would have met up with you or something like that, right? So I'm feeling bad and stuff. I'm like, oh my goodness, I missed them. Okay, so anyway. I gave, she allowed me to come to her house. That really got me. Cause I ain't never went to no broker's house. You hear what I'm saying? They ain't never gave me the address to their house. You know? So now, I did all of that, right? So now I'm waiting for them to want to ask for the pen and she said sorry I'm hungry she said I'm going to send it email so I was like email that was the second red flag I'm going to send an email I was like email Y'all see this? This is small. I 
expect it to be like that. Okay, let's go. Mm. So, we went, I went to our house, I had a little information with me, birth certificate, social security card, ID cards, um, banking information. He said, what's the bank? Yeah, because they were in W-2 forms. Oh, my goodness. That's new. I remember. I moved in the Lions apartment in my gig. Not 61 years. Just recently, me looking for this apartment, this five-bedroom apartment, I needed that. I don't even think when I was in the shelter they asked for it. So anyway, I sent her all that information. So when she said that she's going to send it by email, I started bringing up the... I started bringing up the... The pen, because there's a pen. Anybody have a section eight? Now they doing a pen. Back in the days, I had to walk. I had to go into the office. I remember, I moved to this apartment in the Bronx prior to COVID, so. They had the office open and all that stuff. So, she, she started giving me lip, <laughs> yelling at me about, or the pen don't work, pen don't work, da 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 da, right? So, she claimed she sent the information via email and got an email back stating that it wasn't working. And then she called me, telling me that. And she was like, I don't know what's going on. Mm. Why are we ain't getting through? and bounce back. She sent me the email from, supposed to be from Section 8. From the, from Section 8, because she was sending it in the Section 8. Apparently she claims she sent everything to the, to the, to the building management office. She claims she didn't. Now mind you, I ain't, I ain't hear nothing from the management office yet. Mm -mm. No interaction with the landlord. Right? Because I'm, I'm thinking that somewhere along the line, I would have to meet this landlord. So I'm thinking now that even the apartment that I live in, I met the landlord. Or should I say the management, the management building. Because it's Jew owned, so I guess it's whatever area that that Jew property is on, there's a certain Jew family that's in, interacting with that. So anyway, so I was like, I don't know what's going on. She said, well, it's not working. No, not the pain. It came back, Section 8 Center, that it's not working. What she said? Oh, she said that. She don't keep calling me. 
Don't know something she said my name. So anyway. Would you give me a spoon, please? Sing. She started singing. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of like distracted. Can you just with me? So. She was like, okay. Okay, so she was saying that Section 8 was stating that I don't have no no account. Like, I, I'm, I'm not a part of Section 8. I was like, what? That was a, that was a third red flag. <laughs> I mind you, when you get to three, you're supposed to stop, right? No. That was the third red flag. I overlooked it. But that red flag, I couldn't ignore. Of course, in order for me to get in her apartment or any apartment, I had to be connected to Section 8. I had to have an open case. So I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Miss Jordan. I don't know what to tell you. It's coming back stating that you ain't got no account. Or you ain't, oh, you're not a recipient. I said, well, wherever you get that from, they're telling you a lie. Not knowing that the reason why it was coming back, because it never was sent. That could be just something that she had in her folders or in her file to use to scam people out of money. But... She got the right person because see, I, I I don't I don't take things certain things when it comes to business. I just don't let it fly over easily. So I call Section Eight. When I told her that before I get to me calling, I told her that I said, "Well, I don't know what you're talking about." I said because I'm a client. I said, and why are you emailing it? You're supposed to use the pen. When you put the pen in, you're able to put everything in. So she was like, ah, the landlord don't want to use the pen. The pen don't work. He had problems. He said it's complicated. So not even thinking that that's the fourth first life. Not even paying attention like if a landlord is connected with Section 8, when I, even if he ain't connected, when I give him the pen, if he's not already a vendor, our uh, owner with Section 8, got people, got buildings already, then he has to create an account. And once you put the pen in, then he's going to have the opportunity to put all the other information in concerning me, concerning him, everything. Because once the pen, once they put the pen in, the pen is, is connected to me. So how are you sending, how are you sending email to Section 8 in reference to me? And Section 8 don't know me from Adam or Eve. I mean, yeah, you can put my voucher in, but the voucher is going to bring up the transfer, but it's going to take you right back to you. Having to put that pen in. Okay, this is all I'm saying in my head. You know what I'm saying? But I don't understand why the penny wasn't. Well, you got to call Section 8. As I told her, I said, well, you need to call Section 8 because you the broker. The landlord actually needs to call Section 8. I got my information. I got my voucher. I got the pen. I got everything that I needed. I done send you all this information and now you telling me it's on Section 8? That ain't making no sense. Section 8 don't make no big mistake like that. Section 8 that is connected to the government which is the federal. They, they can't be out there doing doing dirty work. I mean they can. But as long as I've been with them, I never known them do no dirty work around my cases. So I'm not understanding why you're not getting through to it. 
Maybe you need to put the pen in. And then, Jordan, I told you the pen don't work. So I'm like, wait a minute, why are you talking to me like that? I'm not talking to you like that. We're both adults. You don't have to talk to me. I'm expecting you. Click, she hung up the phone. Because before she hung up, she had told me, well, you got to call them. You got to call them. And you got to find out. I said, well, maybe you should call. I'm not calling nobody. That's for you to call. Okay. I ain't understand that because you won't even give me to the part I don't understand. I mean, it's going to keep moving on. So I called them. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's whatever. Because I believe in confrontation. Things ain't right, I'm going to call you. So I called them and. They had like a long wait and stuff like that. And he said, I could be my number and they'll call me back, right? Sure enough, one person called. One person called, so that person, it was a lady. So it was a young girl, sounded young. So I told her what was going on. And she was like, all right, Miss Joyner, give me your What you call it? Give me your voucher number. So I gave her the voucher number. She brought it up to the own. Okay. She said, I don't see nothing here. I said, You don't see no landlord there? No management building? Nothing? She said, I'm enjoying. I don't see nothing. I said, Well, the broker's saying that the pen is not working and that you don't uh, yeah that it's not working so she said she said this okay no 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 I got it wrong the first this is the first time I called so the first time I called I got through a hold and I got through right but mind you I kept putting my number in each time they say, if you want to leave your number, and you want to da 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 to call you back, leave this number. So I would leave my number. But I would keep calling back, and finally I did get through. And each time I would call back, I would leave my number. So I got through to an older lady. Excuse me. I guess, uh, so I'm talking to her, and I'm telling her, and she was like, well, Ms. Jordan, I don't see nothing. I don't know why. I said, well, they say it depends on what, Ms. Jordan. That's the only way they can connect with us. I said, well, can they email it? Can I bring it in? Yeah, you can bring it in. You can bring it in if you want. If the landlord is going to give you all his information. And the information that the landlord has to get is really, like, I guess it's, I won't say it's too much private because back in the days I had to get all that information. I had to get the deed. I had to get the license. I had to get signatures. I had to get the amount of rent that they was paying. I mean, that they was charging other in the building I'm going into or any other building that they doing within that neighborhood or that area where I'm living. So, that package used to be about this big. It was already this long and that big. It was only a manila envelope. So, so just in case people don't know, Niger out here in New York City is New York City Housing Authority. So, now that being said, the lady told me I don't know what's going on. I told her to pay on the way. She said, well, I'm going to send the pen back to you. She said, do you know the pen? I was looking, 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 couldn't find that pen for nothing. She said, well, Ms. Jordan, I'm just going, if you want, I can send you another pen and you got your voucher already? I was like, yeah, I got my voucher. She said, well, okay, I'm going to send you a, a, a copy of your voucher. All that stuff's done. All right? Sure enough, she sent it to him. And it was the same pen. So apparently, they don't generate a new pen for the same case. You keep that. You keep that pen. Right? Throughout my looking for apartment. Right? So, okay. So I called up. The broker, mind you, I had no interaction with the landlord yet. I told them, told her what. Second, they said, told her that they don't know why 
why the landlord is saying that depend on work. They said that I that you can do it. All you gotta do is just all you gotta do is just put the, the pen in and everything will come up. Whatever you gotta put in. So I don't know, Miss Jordan. I don't know, Miss Jordan. The landlord is saying it's not working. I'm not doing that. That's not for me to do. Da 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 da. Right? So I don't even understand. I'm like, I just like I said, I've been through a lot of experiences of getting an apartment and the broker did everything. The only time I come in contact with the landlords when it's time to sign that lease. I have to go into the management office to sign the lease. I have it or something, something, something like that with that. From there, okay. That being said, she still fucks all of me. She said, well, I don't know, so I'm going to try again. I'm, 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 I'm going to try again to call them or something like that, right? Now she's going to call them. So, I go, not thinking that I received a phone call, and it was from Section 8, right? And this was a younger girl. And I'm explaining to her what happened. I ain't tell her I just talked to another one about an hour or so earlier. So, I went, and she explained to me, she said, Miss Shorty, you can go on. She said, I'm going to stay right on the line. Go ahead. You put the pen in, and you're going to see. It worked. And you can go in there and put the information in. If you got all the, if you got all the landlord information, and he trusts you with it, you can put it in for him. I said, really? Yeah. So, sure enough, I went on, and it had me going, adding this landlord, right? And I don't even know who the landlord is. I just got the management building name and stuff like that. But I don't know, you know, who I am supposed to contact because ain't nobody from the management building is calling me about this landlord. I mean, about this apartment. Only her. I'm only talking to her. And the craziest thing that made me feel like it was right is because I went and seen the apartment. You know? But anyway. On with the story. We don't went to four red flags already. Okay, so now I went on. Sure enough, I got into it. All right. I'm walking down the street. Okay, I'm about this. I got into the website, put the pen in, and it worked. So now I called her back. And I bring up that pen again. Mr. Ray, I already tell you. Landlord don't want to deal with the pen. He said it's too complicated. So now I'm about to I'm about to blow your bubble. What do you mean it's too complicated? I said, I'm being told that anybody, you can do it, I can do it, the landlord can do it. His 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 thirteen year old child can do it. Once you put the pen in, it works. It go through. And I put the pen in it, and it went through. So why is he having so much fun? I don't know. Listen, listen. You just need to call. No, no you need to call Section 8 now. Because I'm telling you that it's working. So you, as a poker, need to call Section 8 and find out what's going on. All right, Mr. Ryan, I'll call whatever, whatever, whatever. Right? So now I'm walking down the street. I don't know, maybe a few days later, if not the same day, if not the same week, a few weeks later, right? And I don't hear my phone ringing. You know how they say you, you do, you call if you got your phone in your back pocket? You know what kind of call that's called. So... I had the phone in, in 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 the front pocket. So I don't know. I must have I'm thinking I must have missed a call. I don't know. I ain't called nobody, I'm be honest with you. Because when I when I took the phone out of my pocket and I looked at it, it had the, the broken name that that I had looked for an apartment with him a few months ago. So I picked up the phone on her, hello? He's like, you're yeah, Jordan. Are you still searching for a apartment? You still looking for a five-minute apartment? Yes, I am. 
So he told me about that part, man. Over there on Avenue J. Right? So I went. Mm. I went on. He taught. He set up the. It's time to go see the apartment. I went on. Seen the apartment, liked the apartment. Now, I decided to go with this apartment. Right? I ain't thinking nothing. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Went on. Once I went and saw it, I told him, I said, listen. I said, the rooms are too small. I said, it's the same thing. I said, these rooms are too small. I said, I like it, but the rooms are too small. So, I'm just going to, you know, we're going to go with something else. He said, all right, I'm going to see if I can, you know, I, I have a talk, with, a chat with the, with the landlord. Right? So, I just left it open. I didn't tell him no. I didn't tell him yeah. I just said, all right, you go talk to the landlord. Let me see if I got my... Mm -hmm. I thought I had my need in here. My pills, but I must have left it on top of the thing. Okay, so. Oh, right. Woo. Go home, man. What is all this soda? I ain't, I ain't even finished drinking. I ain't nowhere thinking. <laughs> so. I went and saw that one. I got. Go now. After I saw that one, this Avenue D, told the man about the rooms were small. I showed the pictures to my kids. My kids was like, nah, mom. That, that room, they too small, mom. What, Flatbush? You would think that Flatbush was bigger than that. I went walking, walking, walking through the apartment, went downstairs. I said to myself, I said, oh no. Section 8 don't really approve basement apartments. But that, that, that let me see that one it was order sort of like the the first one that i seen from him but it was a little different i don't even know what the different was but it was some kind of different and then i was i was how can i say i was fantasized by the appliances and the bathrooms see and the whole trick to that is that's the reason why they had they did what they did to their home that's why they did what they did with the bathroom because I'm sorry. This man over there looking right in my face. I'm giving him something to look at. Watch him clean my teeth. So <sighs> So I um yeah, they, they fix up the bathrooms nice. The rooms, they know the rooms is a box, right? <laughs> so they give you some nice appliances. I had a washing machine. I had a dryer. I had uh, a dishwasher. I had a, a microwave. And I had the nice refrigerator, all black stainless steel, everything. And the stove was electric. It was electric stove kind of stove I always wanted. I wanted me electric stove. When the burners is flat, that's the kind of stove I grew up with. I grew up on that type of stove. And it was so good and so easier to work with. And I guess, you know, but anyway, not to go on my story, my, my child story. So when I saw that stove, I was like, oh, wow, yes. It's kind of so I was just, so I was just like so excited about 
what was in this apartment. I was like, yes, this is all the Lord. This is what the Lord wants. I asked the Lord, I'm going to tell him to be, I asked the Lord for this, I asked the Lord for that. And he gave me not only what I asked for, but he gave me more. So, you know, in a spiritual aspect, it looked like that was the Lord. But here go the thing. Let me tell you something. God is no fool. And if you serve in God, God will let you know what's his. What he in, what he's behind, what he approve of, everything. So I was making it. All right, hold on one second.